Good evening, good evening, good evening. It's good to see you back at my channel. Just a, a real short one this week. Um, two things. One is I'm going to talk about a new purchase and the second one is I'm going to talk about the direction of this channel a little bit. Nothing's changing. Don't worry, don't leave. Come back, come back. Good. Uh, so, what's happening? You'll have noticed that a lot of my videos recently have been like slightly film orientated. Now that's just because I'm going through a phase, maybe. <laughs> but um, I am enjoying the film element at the minute. But I will be doing a lot more digital stuff again soon. And what I don't want to do is get the two mixed up a bit and alienate my viewers. So what I'm planning to do is I'm going to separate my kind of videos on this channel. So anything that's digital or other stuff is going to be put out at various times on this channel. But anything that's film related is going to be released on a Friday in a segment I've creatively titled Film Friday. It was the best I could do. So without further ado, let's start the very first Film Friday. So to start the first Film Friday, I'm going to start with a new purchase. Uh, it's not a camera, it's how I scan my negatives. Now previously I'd been using things like these. These are my 3D printed film negative carriers. Um, they've worked fairly well. Uh, the 35mm one works better than the medium format because it, it holds the film better. But um, yeah, you slide the film in through the slot there. It's got a very thin track for the film to slide along and then it comes out obviously the other side. And then I would put that with my iPad on and shine the light through the back. Now it's worked very very well but occasionally you get that little dip from the negatives. So I've purchased something new. It is the Pixelator. Now this has just arrived today so this is kind of fresh. Um, I have had a quick peek. I won't say this is an unboxing video, but I had a quick peek at this one. So let's open the box and I'll show you what you get inside. It's a very simple box. So you get your getting started guide. Obviously, being a bloke, I've not read this, um, but I will do. I promise I, I will read this one. And a little note from Hamish at Pixelator. Very nice. And there it is. The Pixelator. Dun, 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 dun. Um, cool. Yeah, it looks great. Let me just take everything out and then I can move the box out of the way. So there's the Pixelator all laid out. That's all the parts that you get in a box. Um, very simple, very neat. So let's start the process as if I was going to lay down a 35mm for exposure. So you'd start with your first piece which goes there. You put your next one. Uh, these are called gates, is what these have been referred to. And that goes there like that. Easy. So you've got your light source coming back. Now, yes, I'm touching these negatives with my fingers. This is a very old negative. So there's a very thin gap and you can just slide your negative in, get it to where you want it, like so. Now, if you want to stop any uh, extra light coming through. So push that all the way to the end there. You can use these, which is, these are being called gates. So I can frame that off there. So if, if I only frame my shot as that space there, then I'm not getting any other light leaking in. So it cleans all, all your image up. So it's only the light coming through there, which is hitting your camera. So that's really cool. So that's for 35mm and you can slide that through so you can keep going. So either you cut your eggs up like I do or you can just keep going through with a, a full roll until you want to archive it. So let's take that one out and that one. So we changed this. This is They've all got numbers on the back so we changed number one for number three. There you go. And then you can slide in your 6x6 or 6x7 or 6x8, 6x9. I don't know how much bigger that is. <laughs> but you've got all of that space. But again, if you want to remove any extra light coming through, you can put that there in there like that. So there's your 6x... Is that 6x6? Is that square? No, not quite. 
there you go, six by six. And as I say, that's probably six by seven. If not, it's the next one. But you, once you put a negative in, you'd know. So that works like that. And then obviously, like I've said, there's your four by five, straight in, bosh, easy. So it works really, really well. It's nicely diffused. Now, if you want the other option, is that you can put oops, you can put these uh, legs in. They can only go in one way, like so. And now you could stand that up. So you could put this in a window, or you can put a light source that will only stand up. If you haven't got a light source, you couldn't do that with. You can put that there, and that fills that with light because of the, the really cool diffuser on the back. So you could use this in different locations if you haven't got a, a light source that you can sit it on. So if you've got a nice evenly balanced day, but nice and bright, is that you'll get a good consistent light through there. Very good idea that, I like that one. So that is the Pixelator. Now I'm going to do some scanning on this in a bit. I'm going to go and scan some 35mm. I will scan a medium format of some kind uh, in a negative and in a positive as well, so that you can really see if it adjusts the colours or anything like that. So I'll go and do that now. So I've had a play with the Pixelator. I've done three scans. I did a 35mm, I did a um, 120 in a negative and 120 in slide. So that's Provia, Ektar and uh, Kodak Image Pro Professional, whatever they call it. Um, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It kept those negatives beautifully flat. Uh, the only thing I can see I, I need to do is I need to add a better light source underneath, um, something that's going to give it a little bit more of a punch. But yeah, corner to corner, edge to edge, nice and flat, um, depth of field doesn't exist, it's brilliant. Um, the only thing I will probably advise myself getting in the future is probably like a copy stand, just so that I know I am straight down. Uh, that's possibly the only thing that's missing. I've got a tripod which is straight down and I put a little spirit level on it just to try and make sure I'm flat, but I think I could still be just a bit off, whereas if I had a copy stand, I kind of know I'm looking straight down, but that's a future purchase. As for now, the Pixelator works brilliantly. I'm really, really pleased with it. So I shall continue going through all my negatives from now on using this device. And the good thing about it actually is it's really small, so you can put it anywhere. It's great. Thanks for watching. Take care.